totally don't believe in ghosts, but I totally think we should run. Yep. Oh, like no! <laughs> <laughs> Before. Uh, that I really don't like your blueberry pancakes. You never use enough blueberries. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Being dressed like a clown isn't so bad. Kind of itchy, but not bad. Hey, help! Let's go! Whoa. <laughs> it's really hot there. When did all this get here? It's just Barbie's haunted house stuff. Nothing to do with being a vampire. Anyone want a snack? I made garlic knots. No thanks. Yeah, too garlicky for me. <gasps> they don't like garlic? They're all vampires. Why would a vampire make garlic knots for other vampires? Hey guys, check this out. See, no reflection. Sweet. Cool. Oh, um, what was that? I don't know. <sighs> Did you see that? I didn't. That's the problem. They don't have reflections. Tell me there's another explanation. I will. As soon as I think of one. These smart mirror effects are great, Teresa. Thanks. But don't you think it's a little dark in here? Haunted houses are supposed to be dark. <laughs> I'm not afraid of clowns anymore, huh? I checked around for the source of the footsteps, but couldn't find anything. Maybe it was the wind? What? Isn't that what you're supposed to say when you hear footsteps while trapped in a haunted house the night before Halloween? Guys, relax. The dream house isn't haunted. And we're not... Lockdown mode activated. Trapped? No one is leaving tonight. Oh, worst day ever. Oh, sorry, Taffy. I can't seem to get comfortable. <sighs> this is better. Nice and cozy. I'll just watch a little TV. That should help me get to sleep. Then I'll be refreshed and ready for school. See the pretty strokes. Think of them as butterflies. Ah, perfect. Ready to carry you away. Today on Zombie Theater. Where's my classroom? I have to find it. Wait, Nikki's not in my class. Don't worry, group. I'm coming. <laughs> Teresa? You shouldn't have stayed home. Your group needs you. Ken, where are the others? Gone. All gone. 
You're too late! have never missed school. We had to make the ice cream without you. Yeah! It was awful! Phew! It was just a dream. Don't tell me I slept through the presentation. Uh, no. It's still first period. How are you feeling? Skipper filled me in. Good! Never better! <laughs> okay, I've been better, but I will be there for sixth period. Promise. It's that time of year. Makeup tutorial, Halloween edition. So, have you figured out what my favorite animal is? I guess it's actually pretty hard, because I like a lot of animals. Quokka, wombats, dogs. <laughs> but one of my all-time favorites is the panda. So today, I am going to show you how to do panda makeup for Halloween. I start with a clean face, and then I add primer so that the makeup goes on smoothly. You can find inexpensive primer at any store that sells makeup or skincare products. Part one, the eyes. I take a large eye crayon like this, and I draw circles around each eye. Now, pandas have an extra little swoop at the bottom, so I make sure to add that in, like this. Eyes part two. I then fill in the circles. And add some black matte eyeshadow on top to make sure the circles are more solid. And then the face. Then you fill in the whole face all white. I use white face paint, which you can get at any costume store. And then the nose. That's my favorite part of the costume. And my favorite part of the panda. <laughs> so cute, it's like a cat's nose, even though they're not related. So I take a large black eye pencil and I color in the tip of my nose like this. Lips. I use the eyeliner to color in my lips black. It's hard to talk on a day in the Cupid's bow. Did you know this was called the Cupid's bow? I use a black eyeliner for this as well, and I draw a nice clean line from the mouth to the nose. The finishing. Okay, so then I take a very thin black eyeliner pencil and go back and make sure all the lines are clean. Sometimes the white paint overlaps them. So you take the black pencil and you go around the eyes to make sure that that is a clean line. And then the same pencil right inside so that all you see is black, like that. The ears. No panda is complete without cute little panda ears. So, I cut black felt into the shape of ears and then glued them onto a headband. And, ta-da, I'm a panda. Happy Halloween. Let me know what you're gonna be for Halloween. Oh, and if you try this tutorial, can you tag me? I'd love to see how you look. Peace. I hope you're loving my vlog. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe so you can get the latest and greatest Barbie vlogs and more. Oh, and let me know what you want to see in the comments below. I'll be reading them, so you may just see what you ask for. Stay tuned. Pace. Beware, enter at your own risk, for the dream house has been turned into the nightmare house. <laughs> Welcome to Ask Barbie. We are having a very spooky Halloween party. Boom! <laughs> gotcha! Bilal M says, you should do a Halloween challenge with Skipper. You better believe we will. Ooh. Hey Barbie, what you doing? 
Well, I was going to have a pumpkin painting challenge with Ken, Nikki, and Daisy, but they're all volunteering at a dolphin shelter. So I'm painting all these pumpkins by myself. Well, have fun with that. You want to help? I bought a lot of pumpkins. Hard pass. Halloween's for little kids. I'm 14 and a half. I'm almost a grown-up. Well, I love Halloween. Oh boy, I always forget how hard it is to paint a pumpkin. Where do I start? Well, first off, the key to a good painting is to sketch your design out first, like this. And then fill in here and here and correct this and this and ta-da! Wow, Th that's amazing. Oh, it it's nothing, really. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for the help. Fine, I'll paint a few more if you insist. But, but I didn't. I guess I'll just have to turn this into a fun challenge where I have to try out new designs. <laughs> Gosh. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to my room. Okay. But first, I'm going to take pictures of all these, post them on Skipstagram, then go to a pumpkin patch and get more pumpkins so Stacy, Chelsea, and I can paint some more. <laughs> <laughs> but only because you have to. Right. Well, maybe it's because it's the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> now let's get to the patch. Stat, come on. Oh, hey there. I was just about to put a mask on my face. Hold on. Much better. Natalie Got You Wow says, can you give a house tour with the Halloween stuff? Oh, how did you know we love to decorate for Halloween? Oh, right. Welcome to my Halloween party. Thanks for inviting us to your party. I can't wait to dance. Me either. But first, a tour. Look at these spooky cobwebs. And these ghoulish pumpkins. <laughs> and these mummies? Hmm, I don't remember them being in this room. Let's move on to the living room. Watch out for any spooky surprises. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the spooky living room. Don't be scared. It's just our mummy decorations. Did, did we always have more in here? Or did they just come in from the... No. <laughs> no, they couldn't have. Right? Barbie, where did they go? Ah! That's odd. Okay, this is getting weird. Let's go back to the kitchen for some snacks. Okay, here's the kitchen with all the spookiest food and no mummies in here. Well, not exactly. What? Ah! Why is this happening? Who is behind this? Hello, Barbie. Chelsea. Wow, Chels, you really got me this time. We boop. Prank achieved. That's a great robot costume, too. Chelsea. Chelsea. Gotcha. Oh. Yet again. Wait, then who's this? Beep, boop, beep, boop. You made a robot Chelsea just for Halloween? I got pranks on pranks on pranks. <laughs> you were the master. Now let's go dance. Come on, robot Chelsea. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. Snail slime and goblins drool. Oh, Jessica L says, Barbie, you should do a costume contest. Hmm, let's do it. It's time for the costume contest. I told everyone to come in a costume that everyone really cares about. That's why I'm a fairy. Let's see contestant number one, Chelsea. I'm the best big sister ever. Oh, Chelsea, you're me. Okay, next contestant's gonna have a tough job of it. Skipper. Pace. Skipper, are you me too? Yeah, I'm you, but with a hat on. Yeah, it's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> and now our final contestant is Ken. Hi, I'm Barbie. <laughs> okay, what's going on, everybody? You told us to come dressed as something we care about. So we decided to all come dressed as you. Oh, wow. I, uh, geez, I mean, oh, thanks. 
<laughs> so that's where all my clothes went. <laughs> Spot on asks, Barbie, can you please make Ken Frankenstein for Halloween? Sure thing. Check this out. Dr. Bobby Frankenstein had everything a brilliant scientist could want. The dream castle, the dream laboratory, even the dream sidekick. Yes, master. <laughs> However, she had always dreamt of having the nicest best friend ever. I'll create him with science. It's alive. It's alive! It brought me flowers! Flowers good. Oh no, it's raining outside. Umbrella! <laughs> How considerate. <laughs> Are you okay? Electrified! Empowered! High vibe! <laughs> I'll fix that. <laughs> oh, brother. Thanks for watching Ask Barbie. You can leave a comment below and I might answer it. Now, I've got to clean up after this party. Don't worry, Barbie. I'll clean up for you. Aw. Beep, boop, beep. Thanks, Robot Chelsea. Happy Halloween, everyone. Ooh. Ken! Ken! Everyone's been asking me to do another vlog with you. It has been a while. It has been, but yeah. it's really good to be back. And I've really enjoyed your post since I've been gone. Yeah? Yeah, I really love the one about the dream gap. It, it really made me think. Thanks so much. That really means a lot. You're welcome. Okay, so time for my yearly makeup tutorial. Oh, I love that you've been doing your own versions. It's made me so happy. <laughs> um, today, we will be making up Ken. Oh, we are. As what? <laughs> yes, as a mountain lion in honor of the beautiful mountain lions in the Santa Monica Mountains. Okay, so you'll need some foundation, a white or light concealer, bronzer, black eyeliner, and eyebrow pencil. You'll need a couple of brushes of different sizes and a blender sponge. Start with your foundation and make sure to blend it in. Apply the bronzer around the hairline, outside the nose like this, and around the jaw. Extend bronzer underneath the cheeks and around the mouth to make the lion's mouth. Extend the bronzer up from the nose to the inside of the eyes and apply bronzer onto the lids of your eyes, or Ken's eyes, like this. It feels like I have a lot of makeup on. Shh, shh, you got this. Apply the light concealer above your eyebrows, under the eyes, and around the mouth, like this. Blend in a bit, but not so much that you don't see the contour. That, that kind of tickles. Use your black eyeliner to give your eyes a cat shape, like this. Use the eyeliner to create your cat nose. Outline the tip of your nose like this and fill it in. Draw a line down to the mouth, a lion's nose. Also use the black eyeliner to outline the upper lip and fill it in. Ow, Just, ow, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Take your eyebrow pencil and fill in your eyebrows to make them thick and bushy. Here's my favorite part. Use your eyeliner pencil to make the whiskers. Yeah, growl. Growl. Rawr. <laughs> Final touch. I am proud of this work. Proud. Uh huh. Proud. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. But what good is a pride with only one? Good point. <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> we could be a pride alliance for Halloween. <gasps> That's a great idea. We could get everyone to do it. Thank you so much for coming on my vlog, Ken, and letting me make you up. It's almost like a Halloween tutorial meets boyfriend tag. Uh, I mean like boyfriend, like boy friend. Um, happy Halloween! Face! Right, face. You know, Barbie, I have been thinking a little bit that, I don't know, maybe. Hi, thanks so much for watching. Check out what I made. We have had so much fun on this vlog. I'm so grateful for each of you, and I can't wait to show you everything we have in store. That's what the blank space is for. Bye. Coming up <laughs> on Hashtag Dreamhouse. <laughs> Dreamhouse. Hey, everyone. Yay. Dude. Hi there. <laughs>
What a great day to be outside. Right, Janice? You're telling me. Barbie, can you help us? We've been so focused on planning our mermaid Halloween party that we forgot to get costumes for ourselves. I have just the solution. Great, thanks. Oh, that's the octopus caterers. I need to handle this. I'll be right back. Let's get your costumes ready while she takes that. Follow us. I'm going to use the shortcut. See you soon. <laughs> Paisley! Hey! Corey needs a DIY Halloween costume. Stat! Let's get to work, Dream Squad. You came to the right place. I just made homemade face paint. It's perfect for easy DIY costumes. That looks awesome. What should the design be? With all these colors, I'm thinking... Butterfly? Great idea. Butterflies are so colorful and a bit magical. That's definitely an inspirational costume idea. Great. Ooh, Barbie. We should film this for hashtag DreamHouse and share this inspiring costume with the viewers. Good idea. So I'm going to paint some teal green onto and under your eyelids in a triangle shape, starting from the innermost part of your eye. Then I'll take the purple and paint above the green, just on the outskirts like so. Then I'll take my white makeup, add some butterfly spots, and before it looks like you've put on makeup in the dark, <laughs> I'm going to take the blue and draw on the outline of butterfly wings, filling in the spaces with extra detail. Then I'll add antenna over your nose like this. And ta-da! Instant butterfly! I love it! Thanks, Janice. Now I just need a finishing touch. <laughs> One step ahead of you. I took an old headband and pasted cut-out butterflies all over it. You just need cardstock, colored pencils, and glue. Yay! Ooh! <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Party! Yay! <laughs> Wow, that's great, Barbie. They look so realistic. Aw, thanks. I've been working on my butterflies for a while now. Glad they can be put to use. <laughs> How does it look? Are you a mermaid or a butterfly? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great, Cory. I can't wait to try my own DIY butterfly makeup. There's a never-ending source of inspiration right outside. You're so right, Neri. Thank you so much, ladies. I love it. <laughs> Let's watch. <laughs> Ta-da! Peace! <laughs> These are amazing. Ready to debut them at the party? You bet. Thank you so much again. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make mermaid crowns, Barbie style. I love mermaids. I look for them every time I'm in the ocean. But I hear they're very private. They like to keep their mermaidness a secret. So you never know. You might know some mermaids and not even know it. How cool is that? Mermaid crowns. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this is an old headband, a piece of felt, a glue gun. If you haven't ever used a glue gun before, you make sure you ask an adult for help. Uh, regular old school glue, a bunch of shells, pearls, little plastic gems, uh, sparkles, and scissors. As you can see, I painted some shells pink because if I were a mermaid, I'd want a pink crown. But I'm using white pearls and color gems as accents. I like to lay out the pattern of the crown first before I do anything because I think the key to a good crown is advanced planning. Take the piece of felt and cut it into the shape you want it to be, like this. And then you attach it to the front of your headband, like this. This is the part where you're going to attach your shells to. Then you take your shells and you glue them to the headpiece. I like to start with the centerpiece. Today I will be using this star, but you can use anything you want. There's some beautiful scallop shells that you can use. And Sarah sells, she shells, she, she sells, she sells, she, ah. I like to use the auger shells and the Sarah cells yes. to fill in the rest of the crown. They fit nicely together and they give the crown a nice look. 
Try to cover the felt with as much of the shells as possible so you don't see it peeking in through the gaps. Once the big shells are glued on, I fill in the spaces with the pearls and the gemstones like this. Ta-da! Pretty, right? But I'm not quite done. I can never have enough glitter. I like to do a little light design with glue around the outside of the shells, and then I sprinkle a little glitter onto it. Voila! Oh, and for my surprise finishing touch, because we all know that mermaids like to express themselves with design and art. I like to use glitter eyeliner to create designs that complement the crown. See you in the mermaid kingdom. <laughs> Peace. Hey there, it is Craft Day with Chelsea. What are we gonna make today? Well, I wanted to share with you something that Herberto and Hazel taught me how to make. Unicorn hair! Wait, who are Herberto and Hazel? You know, they're hairdressers in Wispy Forest. In Dreamtopia, they're the hedgehog hairdressers. Oh! <laughs> they are so funny. <laughs> right, I remember now. <laughs> Wispy Forest. That's a neighborhood in Dreamtopia where your hair expresses whatever you want it to be. And Herberto and Hazel are these amazing hairdressers. And they taught me how to make unicorn hair. And I'm going to teach you with Barbie. <laughs> Fantastic. What do we need? OK, since we don't have magic in this world. Well, that we know about. <laughs> we will need a couple of rubber bands, a comb, hair pins, uh -huh. tape, Okay. And a piece of cardstock cut into a square. Cardstock? Yeah, five inches on each side. Okay, ready, Barbie? I can't wait. Okay, first thing we do is to separate a section of the hair in the front, like this. Keep it separate, and we work on the unicorn tail. You divide the ponytail into two parts, then you take the first section of hair, and you make a really high ponytail with it, and you tie it with a hairband. You see? Okay, then we take the hair from the smaller ponytail and we wrap it around the main ponytail, just like this. And Hazel taught me to secure it with a bobby pin. Now you have a nice high unicorn tail. Okay, now for the horn. You take your square cardstock and you roll it into a cone, like this. And then secure it with tape. Then you wrap the hair around the cone and secure it with a bobby pin. And ta-da! Unicorn hair! <laughs> so what do you think, Barbie? I love it! It makes me feel like anything is possible because that's how it feels to be a unicorn, right? That's right. Oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. Can you do my hair like this every day? Of course. Oh, fantastic. You ready? Yep. Pace! Hey, guys. I wanted to show you my pictures from prom. This is the dress that you all like the best, and I loved wearing it. Thank you. Oh, and as you can see, I asked Ken to join us, and we had a great time. Coming up on Hashtag Dreamhouse. <laughs> Dreamhouse! Hey, everyone. I just got back to the Dreamhouse. Today, I was... Hey! Barbie, join us! <gasps> Looks like the Dream Squad is here. Let's see what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone! How's it going? <laughs> Hi, Camilla! Hey! What's going on? Great! Tutorial time! <laughs> awesome! Can I watch? Even better! You can join us! Garrett has been learning how to braid hair! It looked like fun, and I was right! I'll film it for the Dreamhouse vlog! Good idea! Ginger agreed to be our model for the day! Anything to help out. I like a good braid. Sign me up. We're gonna learn how to make a fish tail braid with a special twist. First, separate the hair into two sections. Oh, I'm so excited. Next, take a section of hair from the outside of one section and cross it over to the next. Oh, okay. Do the same on the other side. This is so much fun. Repeat until you have no more hair to braid. Yeah, that makes sense. <gasps> totally! Dude! I'm excited! Wow, that's pretty cool! So awesome! Your hair looks amazing! That's beautiful! Yay! Wow! And 
now for the twist. We are going to add Ooh. rhinestones throughout the braid for that extra sparkle. Oh. And if that's not enough, we can use some of my homemade sparkle hairspray. Whoa, how did you make that? I just put glitter in a bottle. Wow. Dude. And added my hairspray. Of course, smart thinking. How's Barbie's braid looking? Looks great. Ah, oh, shucks. I just wish we could make it have even more sparkle. <gasps> What about these DIY sparkle headbands? These are the perfect way to express ourselves. Fantastic! I'm feeling extra sparkly today, so I'm going to take these gems and craft glue them to the headband. That's so fun! I'm feeling strong and fierce today, so I'm going to decorate mine with bold tiger stripes. <gasps> Let's record it! Craft glue your favorite gems or fabrics to the headband. Fantastic! That's amazing! Good work! Now let's watch the video. Now add some sparkle to your fishtail braid. <laughs> what an awesome DIY braid tutorial. I love how these headbands help show off our personalities and self-expression. So, what should we do now? Dance party! <laughs> party! <laughs> <laughs> So one of my favorite things to do is look at photos of cosplay online. Here are a couple of my first attempts at cosplay. I hope you like them. As you guys know, Portal is one of my favorite games. Oh, hi, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. And GLaDOS is one of my favorite characters. One of my other favorite games is Just Dance. My sisters and I just danced all of their favorite songs. Skipper is really good at it. I used to dance ballet as a little girl, but right now my favorite kind is freeform expressive dance. And I bet you're wondering what's going on with the play I'm in. A Midsummer Night's Dream? Well, Shakespeare was the original cosplay. Dressing up as fairies and princesses and magicians and donkeys. <laughs> this is my costume for Mustard Seed. I love getting to wear fairy wings, and I get to sing a song and dance a dance, and I've been practicing my line. I say it to Bottom right after he's been turned into a donkey. <clears throat> Ready, what's your will? What do you guys think? We open next week, so wish me luck, or break a leg, that's what they say in theater. Peace. <laughs>